Hello, gentle viewers. Uh, we're back in Frostpunk. Uh, after our first playthrough went dreadfully, dreadfully wrong. Um, cool fact, you can do some things to change the difficulty of the game. I'm not going to do that, though. Not yet, anyway. Attempt number two. Yes, yes. Things have gone bad. I know, I know. And we need to get some coal. Okay. Important fact that I really screwed the pooch on the first time we played the game. We need to basically be using... Um, we need to be using gathering posts from day one. They're too valuable. They're too efficient at doing what they're meant to do. So we're going to build a gathering post right here. Boop. And then we're going to run a road. Boop. It's going to take us all our wood, but... For right now, I think it's our best choice. There's some steel and some wood over there. Some more wood and steel. Um, I also have just like a ton of people with nothing to do. So this is the perfect time to send people out to grab stuff. Let's get coal, wood, and more wood. Okay. Off we go, my friends. Uh, we also need to be very judicious about quickly bringing in uh, extra people. That was ultimately what cost us the most in this game, in the first playthrough. Book of Laws. I still like Child Shelters better, and we'll get around to it. Um, we're going to pull people off of these crates and bring them over to the gathering post. And then, are you the one? Yes, you do have people working here. Okay. This should be more than enough coal to handle us in the short term. So let's build our second gathering post. Glorious. We'll of course want to build houses too, or tents too, but uh, And we will take care of food here in a little bit. Um, I will provide some shelter. I want to make it make sure that it's something that we can pass. Um, people, tent, ten, twenty, thirty. Yeah, I should have been using gathering posts from day one, and I didn't. And that's a big part of the reason why we fell behind so quickly. Waiting for the new work day. Great, a new law. Um, let's just go straight for medic apprentices, actually. Okay, we're going to want to bring in some wood. All right. Where do I have people working right now? 
Okay, you're just gathering coal, right? Get off of that. And let's get 10 of you working there. Freeing up five people. And I think it's about time to build ourselves uh, our first hunter's hut. How's this coming along? Yeah, we're getting a good bit of coal uh, from the gathering posts. Okay, coal isn't really an issue. Uh, we do need wood, which we're ever so slowly addressing. Okay. Stop. Build. Do we want a resource depot? They're really expensive. We're going to run a road like this, and then we're going to run a road like that. Now, we technically don't have to build them this close, but this gives us the advantage that we'll be bringing in um, food. What's going on? Oh, oh we only have engineers. Uh, pull people out of this, put in engineers, and then bring in workers so we can get some food brought in. Oh, uh, we need a child shelter and we need tents. I should have enough wood for both. Uh, tent... and a child shelter. And the next thing we're gonna do is build a cookhouse. We don't have the resource to do that now, do we? We do not, that's fine. We will tomorrow. What are you, just coal? Okay. Yes, please get a move on and do your work. Children cared for. Lovely. Okay. Full. Build us a cookhouse. Okay, you're all working there. Let's pull you off the coal pile and have you move into the food hut. <clears throat> um, people are happy that they don't have to send the kids to work. I'm happy about that too. We really could use a um, a thing, but I think we're okay. A new law, excellent. I love me an emergency shift. provide shelter for 20 people. It's 
So we're going to want a beacon as quickly as we can get one. Um, as soon as y'all get back, I'm going to have you... I'm going to pull five people out of there. Um, what are you working directly on? You're working on the coal pile. I've got plenty of coal. Let's please get food cooked. Uh, I'm actually going to open a shift now. Because I want us to start turning raw food into cooked food. Don't worry, as soon as, um, as soon as we get the wood, I'm going to build the last two sets of tents. And I actually do agree to the extended shift law. I think that could be a pretty good idea. Uh, get off the coal pile, which is A, almost empty anyway, and B, we don't desperately need. And get over to these wooden crates. I'm going to increase your working days so that you can br we can bring in a bunch more wood. Steel wreckage depleted. This is going to be gone tomorrow. And then we're going to just dismantle this gathering post. And I'll promise to open a medical post. How much is that going to cost me? It's 25 wood. But I'd actually rather have the workshop. So let's build both actually. There we go. And we will sign a new law in the not too distant future. And we will go with cemeteries. Okay. I need to find our engineers. Ah, uh, that sounds lovely, but we'll get to that in a minute. And then I'd like to research heaters. I think that's an important one to start out with. Where else do I have engineers? Especially as I know where that engineers are working where they really shouldn't be. Here. There we go. Okay, she's wanting us to basically f research the beacon, which is my plan. Okay. And we'll have four people doing nothing, which is great, because then I can put them other places. Uh, we will get to those here in a minute. Uh, let's put you guys on the wood crates pile just for the moment. I 
All right. Boop. And now we'll get health care, which is great. Um, new tack. Let's go right for the beacon. I think we took way too long to find the beacon last time, and it cost us a significant amount of, of issues. Um, so much so, you're going to hate me for this. I'm going to make you work until it's done so we can get the beacon built. Because one of the things we consistently didn't have was just enough people. Uh, we have to make sacrifices. I can't end emergency shifts for today. And then the next thing we're going to research is better hunter stuff. Uh, radical treatment. Uh, attack, beacon. No, I don't want to block off wall drill possibilities. Put it here, maybe? Yeah. people dying from oh um improved hunter's gear and things are heating up a bit that's quite lovely Here come the hunters. And we don't have the people to generate scouts, I don't think, do we? No, I don't have enough people, but we can get them. We needed a win. We sure did. Okay. Uh, right now we are wasting people. We're getting wood crates. Let's create a scout team. And let's go to the Lost Expedition. So, if you guys remember uh, this war of mine, this basically works the same way. Um, you send people out on missions and they come back and there's usually something interesting that they have to talk about. Um, okay. Coal isn't an issue yet. Wood is becoming one. But we've also got a couple of coal piles just have nothing, have nobody on them. Perfect. Um, I do kind of want to... No, we need wood. I need sawmill. And people want another medical post. Ah, I don't have the wood for it yet. Okay. That's fine. Um, let's clear that steel wreckage. Ow. 
Excellent. So our scouts have reached the lost expedition and we found survivors. Let's escort them. Oh, this sounds lovely. So we enter the pan carrying out of the driving snow. A group of excited voice said, Thank God you found us. We've been wandering for days and couldn't go on any longer. We begin to starve soon. So we get 22 workers and 9 engineers. That's awesome. That is the good shit, as the kids say. Do they say that? I'd have to suspect that they don't. I may be out of touch. And here we go. Here come our people. They never explain how they get down. It's heartwarming to see families reunited after so many hardships, but shouldn't there be other settlements nearby? The first expeditions left London long ago. They ought to be well established by now. They'll surely help us find our footing. We will look for the others. Oh, we have been neglecting our duties to build a cemetery. Uh, we'll build it adjacent to you, and then I'm going to send you... See, Gloomy Cave, Observatory, Sturdy Shelter. 22 hours, 20 hours, 15. Let's go to the, the Observatory. That seems cool. And now we've got more people than we know what to do with. So we're going to immediately grab all the other piles that we can. Just for now. But as other things get completed, then we will move them to places that are a bit more suitable. And we're expected to find another settlement, and we will get there, my friends. Don't you worry. We we going to build this damn cemetery? Here we go. There we go, hope prizes. Hooray. Okay, perfect timing. Um We're gonna get faster gathering. It's too good, and it's a it's a nice cheap bit of research that we can do. How about we get people some homes? That seems wise. Oh yeah, and then we unlocked sawmills and then didn't build one. That was pretty stupid. I need to build you farther back, like right there. Okay, we have more than enough wood now to build the street. We have exactly enough wood to build it. Okay, great. We've reached the observatory. Something's amiss. Snow covers the precious instruments and the dome is open, letting in out of thin snow. Someone's inside. We are met by some of our lost people. 12, worker, 12 workers, 19 engineers, and 4 people. Let's escort them back. All right, we need to upgrade housing. Um, I think that's the next big thing we have to do once we get uh, the resource situation sorted. Third of the Hunters. What is your deal? 
We don't have enough raw food, okay. Uh, we will consider doing the care house. That's fine. Everything's fine. And we've gotten back. Um, let's go to the gloomy cave. That sounds lovely. We also have a crap ton more people. Um, what are we going to do with you? How about another hunter's hut? I can't do that. I have enough wood. Beautiful. I'm going to, I'm going to have you work the 14 hour day. So we can have a consistent supply of wood. Uh, hey guys. Um, okay, we've already got people working there and there. Uh, sure. Come on. Grab some coal for right now. Once we start to bring in a significant amount of wood, um, we will look into what else we can accomplish. I agree it is a lovely morning, sort of. Mm. Old pile is depleted. Steel wreckage is depleted. We'll cut off his leg. Um. Wait, what happened? You told me to open a new medical post. Did I never did. Oh shit. Um. Please build that like immediately. Thank you. Yeah, faster gathering is lovely. Um, how do I get houses? I do want flying hunters. Bunkhouse, that's what we want. Let's unlock drawing board. Please build quickly. Thank you. Whew. I completely forgot about that. Okay. What is your issue? Oh, we almost have too much coal. That's fine for right now. Uh, can you give me a couple more engineers to do research? Thanks. All right, where are my hunter's huts? Here we go. Give me two more, please and thank you. Oh God, quit demanding me build more medical posts. I only have so much damn resources. I will fully acknowledge, by the way, I know I don't do a super great job of making things look pretty in terms of where they're placed, but that's just how we're gonna have to handle things right now. All right, scouts. That's lovely news. More survivors. Ooh. If we fight the bears, we could get some people. Let's fight bears. And we all survived. Hooray. 
Except for the Bears. Well, I guess that is kind of a dick move. Um, where are engineers that should not be there? Yeah, I should not have engineers working on coal piles. Oh, no, sorry, I need workers, not engineers. Yeah, the crates are almost gone. Let's pull you off and bring you over here. Here we go, and then let's bring in some engineers. Okay, what are you? You're just some steel wreckage, okay. How much more coal is there to gather? What do I still need to build a care house? Okay, I've got some time. It's okay, we won't be out of wood for long. Um, let's go to the crash site. There could be some sweet supplies there. God, we have so many people. Um... Um, hey, come on over here. You, come help. What with the food and all. Beautiful. Um... Medical help post upgrade. What does this do? People will heal people faster. That sounds really good, actually. Let's do that. And then let's immediately start to apply. Um, let's try to get some more tents built. I'm going to say I can't do it right now because I need to build uh, steam hubs for that. Why are people hungry? Oh, they just haven't had time to eat. Okay. Oh, God damn it. Really? And then let's get some more tents built. Um, yeah, we'll sign the prosthetics law within five days. I'll sign it right now.
Okay, let's quickly take a moment and build some roads. We're going to want to get the end degenerator upgrade too. Uh, don't be lazy, you bastards. Oh, we got there. Explore. We got some wood and some raw food. Nice. Let's come over to the sturdy shelter. Um, right. Okay, excellent. Um, further upgrade the rain. No, let's build steam hubs. Oh, I need to build the care house. Uh, that is health. Care house. All right, we desperately need to keep bringing in food. There we go. We need more sick beds, so we need another medical post. God damn it. work. Ah, all these people are engineers. Uh, where are their... Uh, only workers can get food. Here, precious workers. We're sending in people from the song. You are workers. Oh, uh, just demolish it. Yeah, there's no point. There we go. Where else do we have a bunch of workers that could be replaced by engineers? No, we're really. Okay. That's fine, though. We should be generating significantly more food. I don't think it's time to start working on more ways to get coal and more ways to get steel. Oh, do you have the resources to build a new medical post? Awesome sauce. That'll be fine. Don't worry, you'll get your heat on. Boom. Um, more scouts would be lovely. 
Let's go straight to coal mining. Oh, we need a steam core for each coal mine. I mean, it's better than a coal thumper for sure. But uh, we we'll also want the wall drill. That's a great way to get a lot of wood. We'd only ever be we'd only be able to build one of these. for that you know what let's get a wall drill um no we have to address the coal supply whether we do have the coal thumpers or coal mining i would like to have at least one coal mine even if we only ever get one well, until we start getting more cores, which is a definite possibility. And we'll turn the heat on. And people are happy about the care house, as they should be. Yeah, we're starting to hemorrhage coal just the tiniest of bits. Now let's upgrade sawmills. Uh, coal mine. So we use our first steam core. Steam core, necessary component of advanced technology. We can't manufacture steam cores in the city, so let's hope that our scouts find them during expeditions. I agree. We have found a possible wood, food, or steam cores. <gasps> nice. Well, that's some good stuff. Uh, head over the steel bridge, and then I'm probably going to have you come back home with your loot. That is some fat loot. With a PH, I'll have you now. Uh, the cookhouse is closed because I don't have any raw food, but that should be sorted out soonish. Is my coal mine done yet? It is. Oh, wow, a hundred thousand? Uh, engineers, get to work. Oh, that is so good. Yeah, we still have some people that are sick, though. It's whatever. An automaton? Oh, these things are so cool. I love automatons. We will send it home. Uh, we could go to Weather Station or Large Convoy. Let's go to the Large Convoy. All right, so our things are going a lot better, but they're still not going perfectly. We're still having some issues with food supply. Maybe we need a hot house. Oh, hang on, something over here has to happen. Finding the bridge to winter home proof we're on the right track will raise questions. Why was the bridge deserted? Why was the automaton under the care of an engineer? The logical explanation to it all, but people are growing anxious. We lose a tiny bit of hope. That's sad. Um, we're ceremonial. So it's just better. Done. Okay. 
We're going to want to upgrade the generator uh, when we get an opportunity to do so. How's our sawmill? Eh, it could be better. Let's heat it. Okay, what do we want to research now? Um Okay. I want to get a generator range upgrade. Oh, we're over here. Explore. All right, let's bring them back with us. And then I think it's time. I'm gonna say I won't address it right now because we don't have the tech for it yet, but we will soon. Actually, maybe this is just a, just a matter of building some uh, some steam hubs. Did that fix it? Like, what if I built it, say, here? Let's find out what would happen as a result. Okay, so this tent is now livable. Okay. I just needed a I just needed a well placed steam hub. Oh, I literally, people can't figure out how to get there? Wow. I would like a bit more. Uh, we'll give him, I'll, I'll take one engineer out of the field if we could get a significant boost to it. Um, what else do we want? Bunk houses. How's our sawmill coming, actually? Are we running out of wood here? We're getting there. Uh, we're going to want the wall drill. Oh, look how glorious this is. This is the good stuff. Let's go to the weather station. Um, and then immediately, let's get a couple of tents built. Oh, sorry, we actually need three tents, don't we? 
I can math. Shut up. That's how you dismantle stuff. Cool. There we go. Uh, we're now actually full of wood. So I think it's time to build our very first resource depot. That's a place for a wall drill, I think. And we need more sick beds, because of course we do. Here comes the automaton. Hello, Robit. How does everyone get down? This really bothers me. Okay, automatons are seriously the greatest thing ever. Because they work all day long. And they free up people to work other places. So what we do is we go... No, 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 no. Oh, well, bam. And then we have a constantly running coal mine that runs 24 hours a day. And no one has to, you know, get pissy with me. Everybody wins, except for the automaton. Uh, you could use another worker. Ooh, I didn't even realize this was a thing here. So right now, we are losing slightly uh, the amount of coal that we could that we're gaining. Um, I'd love to build a second coal mine, actually. You're an iron ore deposit. I do like the idea of that too. But actually I think we will build another coal mine. We have the steam core. And it's such a it's such a manpower efficient way to upgrade our people, our production. And you can say, Avi, isn't... Like, you can't really have too much coal. Yep. Automatons are pretty cool. Oh, it can replace an entire team of workers. That's the point. Things are going well, I agree. Um, could I just go for a fighting arena? Eh, why not? Oh, let's get the engineers to work. Okay, bunk houses. Let's get that wall drill researched. Actually, let's do the steel works. I'm like almost out of steel and I just haven't been paying attention to it. A hundred wood 
for 40% cookhouse efficiency. Absolutely. That's a no-brainer. I'm going to say I won't address it right now. Because what we need to do basically is upgrade housing. Uh, give me people and then give me bunkhouse. Yep, here's where wooden steel is going to end up going. Okay. Let's get the fighting arena first. You'll see to get, get uh, infirmaries under control at some point here too. Excellent. I'm going to increase the shift at the coal mine. I want to make sure that we've got plenty of coal. It is day 16 and we're about to get a dip in the temperature. That's fine. Uh, medical post, have a heater. Ah, uh, here we go. Our good friend from Winterholm shows up. She's all bit. There goes my, my precious hope. Thank you, Lucy. I'm glad somebody here approves of the job I've been doing. And we'll go with order again. We'll unlock the neighborhood watch. Boom. And then there's a sad child. And with that, we're going to end our episode. Uh, things are obviously going better, much better this time. I think we learned quite a bit from our first failure. Um, but there's still a long way to go uh, to complete our first scenario. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you've been enjoying. If you have, please feel free to leave a like, a comment. But until next time, this has been Avindian. And I bid you good day.